Caffeine it is. Thanks for the suggestions, everybody. Welcome to Pick Your Poison, where the best part of waking up is planning on killing you. Caffeine in its purest form is a bitter white powder, but let's be honest, you don't go to Dunkin' Donuts for the tuna wraps, and you didn't come here to talk high-grade chem lab caffeine poisoning. It's not the blue stuff, Heisenberg. We're talking about the street-level stuff, and I don't blame you. Coffee is amazing. Let's talk dosage. Unless you're a small child or a dog, you'd have to drink a shocking amount of coffee in a shockingly small amount of time for it to kill you. 10 grams of caffeine administered orally can kill you, but if you're a big dude or have a high tolerance, that number goes way up. 50 to 200 cups of coffee is the starting point in this conversation, and with that amount of liquid, you might as well just fill a kiddie pool with Folgers and try drowning yourself in it instead, because caffeine is not a guaranteed killer. But it is a naturally occurring stimulant and targets your nervous system. Once there, it clogs up your adenosine receptors, which is bad news. Why? Well, you need those to regulate your body, and without them, your brain is going to create too much dopamine and other stimulants. Sounds like fun. And it is, but you'll also pay for it. Caffeine does wake you up, make you focus, and possibly increases brain function. But it also causes paranoia, muscle twitching, vomiting, heart palpitations, and in a few extreme cases, death. Even consistent intake of safe amounts of caffeine can lead to insomnia and increased caffeine addiction. Normally at this point in the show, we'd have you die from a caffeine overdose and we'd walk you through why that sucks. But the truth is, you're not gonna die from a caffeine overdose. Maybe if you had an unknown heart condition and you combined caffeine with a large amount of alcohol, you could possibly die, but you're fine and this isn't our episode on Four loco. So just know that overindulging in anything is bad and know that a little bit of coffee per day may actually be good for you. Caffeine has been linked to a decreased risk of diabetes and Parkinson's. Plus, it's often used in adults to initiate or speed up the effects of certain medications. It's a complicated drug and we're still finding out more about it every day. So drink up in moderation and get your day started already. Sorry caffeine didn't kill you, but we do have a new killer network of content. It's called Animalist and it's got tons of awesome, funny, informative, quirky, and downright weird animal themed shows like Animalist News, which covers all the breaking discoveries and interesting facts from the animal kingdom. So go to Animalist and check it out. I'm about to be eaten by a grizzly bear. Ah!